Hello everyone, let's quickly take a look at question number 9. Question number 9 says that the image formed by a plano convex lens at a distance of 1 meter behind the lens is real and is one third the size of the object. The wavelength of light inside the lens is 4 upon 5 times the wavelength in free space and we have been asked to find the radius of curvature of the curved surface of the lens. The options given to us are 0.9 meter, 0.19 meter, 0.75 meter and 0.38 meter and the correct answer to this question is 0.19 meter. Now let's quickly take a look at how we arrive at this answer. The first thing to do is to recall how can you find the location and the description of the image formed by a plano convex lens. So to do that we draw a ray diagram. We have a plano convex lens which looks something like this and now we are going to draw a ray diagram. I have an object placed at some distance from the lens and now I am going to draw a ray diagram using two types of rays. Of course we know three types of rays, you can draw any two of these. I am going to draw the first ray passing through the optical center and the second one is going to be parallel to the optical axis and then it is going to pass through the focus after refraction. So, now I have these two rays, they are going to meet at a point and that point is going to be the location of my image. Now be careful, in our sum it is given to us that the image is going to be real and therefore it is inverted and therefore I have drawn a real and inverted image. But they have also told us that the image is going to be one third the size of the object and therefore as you can see I have drawn a smaller image. Now finally I am going to use the information that the image distance is 1 meter behind the lens and therefore I am going to say this part is 1 meter that is the distance between the image and the lens is 1 meter. Also I am going to use the fact that the image is one third the size of the object. So I say that if suppose the object is d centimeters long then I am going to say that the image is 1 by 3 d centimeters long. Irrespective of the units I am basically saying that if the object is d units long then my image is 1 upon 3 d units long. Finally, I am going to write down whatever I know. The first thing is that V is plus 1, where V is the image distance. It is plus 1 because it is behind the lens or to the right of the lens as you can see. So this is one thing that we know that is given to us. I am also going to use the fact that the image is one third the size of the object. I am going to do that to find the ratio of I upon O. I in this sense is the size of the image and O is the size of the object. Now I is nothing but size of the image and therefore it is going to be 1 by 3 D divided by O which is the size of the object and that is going to be D. Now if I cancel D, I get I upon O is equal to 1 by 3. You can see that there is a minus sign. Shortly I will tell you what that minus sign means but basically recall that I upon O is nothing but magnification and therefore M is equal to I upon O which is equal to minus 1 by 3. Now let me tell you what the minus sign stands for. Minus is basically telling me that the image is smaller than the object. Now I am going to use whatever has been given to me, that is two things, V is equal to plus 1 and magnification is minus 1 by 3. I am going to need both these bits of information, so I am going to keep it and save it in the given section of my sum. Now I am going to use this data to solve my sum. Basically the question says that I need to find the radius of curvature. Of course it is a plano convex lens, so I have to find the radius of the curved surface of the lens. Basically I know that whenever I have to find radius of curvature, I have to use lens makers formula. But to use lens makers formula, I am going to also need focal length and refractive index. And therefore, before using lens makers formula, I am going to focus on finding refractive index and focal length. So the first thing I want to do is find out the focal length. But to find focal length, I need to know what is the object distance. So the first order of business is to find the object distance. So to do that, I am going to write down that magnification is I upon O is equal to minus 1 upon 3. But recall magnification can also be written as the ratio of the image distance to the object distance. And therefore I have V upon U is also equal to minus 1 upon 3. Now V I know is plus 1 meter and therefore I replace V with 1, U is as it is. Therefore I get 1 upon U is equal to minus 1 upon 3 or simply speaking U is equal to minus 3 meter. Now I have the object distance minus 3 meter. Finally, u is equal to minus 3 meter, I am going to need it, so I am going to save that. The next thing I want to do is find out the refractive index. Well, use the information given to us in the sum. We have been told that the wavelength of light inside the lens, that is lambda in the medium, where the medium is usually glass, but let us call it lambda with the subscript medium, is nothing but 4 by 5 times, that is, is equal to 4 upon 5 times as in multiplication, 
into the wavelength in free space and therefore this comes out to the mathematical expression that wavelength in the medium is equal to 4 by 5 into wavelength in free space. Now if I move this wavelength in the medium into the other side, I get 5 upon 4 to be the ratio of the wavelength in free space to the wavelength in the medium and then if I recall the wavelength of light in free space upon the wavelength of light in any medium is equal to the speed of light in free space upon the speed of light in any medium and this is nothing but the refractive index and therefore this gives me information about the refractive index that is mu is equal to 5 upon 4. Finally, recall I need not just the refractive index but also the focal length to use lens makers formula. So finally, I focus on finding the focal length. I use the equation 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u. Now we already know what is v. It is given to us that it is plus 1 meter and I have also found what is u that is minus 3 meter and therefore I can find out what is the focal length f is equal to 3 by 4 meter. Now I know refractive index and I know f. Now it's pretty straightforward. I have to use the lens makers formula. All I need is these two quantities. Write down the lens makers equation. 1 upon f is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2. Last tricky piece of business that is what is r1 and r2? You don't have a biconvex lens in this case. What you have is a plano convex lens and therefore R1 and R2 are the radii of curvature of each surface of the lens. For a plano convex lens, one surface is flat which we will consider to be a circle of infinite radius and therefore R1 is infinite and the other surface is curved and that is nothing but radius R of the lens and it's going to be a minus sign because the radius of curvature lies on the left in case of a plano convex lens. So R1 is equal to infinity r2 is equal to minus r. If I replace this in the formula that is in lens makers equation, I get 1 upon f is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 upon r. Now I can solve this in a straightforward fashion. r is equal to f mu minus 1. f I know is 3 by 4 meter as I have found it from before and mu is 5 by 4 as I have calculated from before. This gives me the final answer that is the radius of curvature of the curved surface of the lens is 3 by 16 meter which is 0.19 meter and this is how you find the answer that is the radius of the curved surface of the lens is 0.19 meter. I hope you have understood this explanation. Thank you for watching.